Hey everyone! Welcome to Sketch a Merch Design Channel. Today we are making another design using Kittle. If you are not aware of Kittle, Kittle is a graphic design platform and tool built to make complex design easier. You can watch my other Kittle design tutorials to learn more about Kittle. You will find a link in the description to sign up for free and practice while you are watching the video. So, let's go and get right into the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy it. From the home menu, we are going to going to press on new project. From the upper menu, we are going to change the dimensions of our artboard. We are going to enter our customized dimensions, which are 4500 by 5400 pixels. I always like to work with these dimensions when designing because it fits most of the print-on-demand platforms. You can change the color of your artboard by clicking on it and choosing the color you want from the right menu. From the Elements menu, press on the Abstract tab. I will use one of the shapes for my background. Then, I will change its color from the right menu. Next, I will search for the word beach from the elements tab. I decided to use this van as my main design element. But, the colors of the van need to be changed. This graphic has many colors as you can see. So, I will change each color to fit my design. You can do that through the upper right menu. Cool. But I don't like the wheels of the van. Let's add other wheels to the design. I will pick one color from the document palette menu. The document palette is automatically generated by Kittle and contains all the colors used in the design. I will also add a back border to the wheels. I think this makes it look sharper. Now, let's add a sunset background to our design. I will send it to the back of my design by moving its layer from the layers menu. This menu will help you to understand where each design element is located on your artboard. Now I decided to add some palms to the design. You can expand your search menu by clicking on the right side of the search menu. I will group these two palms together. You can do that by right clicking with your mouse on the graphic and clicking group or ungroup. Just make sure to select all the elements first. Also, you can change the name of each layer for easier reference. Then, I added some silhouette birds above my van.
After that, I found better palm graphics. I think these ones are more detailed. So, I decided to replace the old ones with new palms. I have also added more palms to the upper part of the design. However, since these palms are dark and are not clearly visible, I decided to add some border to them. You can do that using the object setting menu. You can change the border weight and color until you are satisfied with the result. Now it is time to start adding our text. I will use one of the text templates to add my main text, and delete the parts that I don't want. Then, I decided to add some effects to the text. You can do that using the effects tab. There are a couple of options under the effects tab. You can try each of them to see how it looks on your design. I also played with the colors and the setting variations of each effect till I get what I like. I have added another text. You can always add additional text using the text menu. Then, using the right menu, you can change the font and text attributes. I played with the transformation options and tried a couple of choices. After that, I added a triangle to my design. I changed its fill to none and increased the border size. Now, I duplicated the word California. I changed the settings of my second copy to create a glowing effect. So, I decided to play with the shading setting. I increased the blur bar to the maximum to create this glow effect under my first California layer. I did the same with the word beach. I created a second copy and played with the second copy settings to create a similar glow effect. Then, I decided to add some additional birds to the design. I searched for the word egret. I added a couple of graphics and then changed them because I did not like them.
Finally, I decided to use this one and increase its border size. I duplicated it and sent both copies to the back of my design. We are almost there. So, I decided to add some abstract lines to my background. I added one line and duplicated it and changed the color of each one. I also changed the opacity to make them not so sharp. Next, I added a rectangle to the design to serve as a frame. I added a duplicate copy of the lines to the lower part of my design to fill the empty space at the back. I added one extra step to my final design. This tip is a little bit advanced, so stay focused. I wanted to add a glow effect behind my palms. So, I did that by using the shadow effect created by the text. So, I just added a big letter, the letter O in this example. Then, I tried to use its shadow effect to create a glow. I then decided to change the letter O to a period, to have a fully circled shadow. In Kittle, you can't have similar shadow settings for any graphic elements. That is why I had to use text to create this effect. Then I placed my shadow at the back of the palms. Now your design is ready. Once you are satisfied with your design, you can download it using the top menu. Simply choose any of the format you link and press on it to download the design. Again, if you still don't have a Kitla account, you will find a link in the description to sign up for free. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching.